Now let's learn a new rudiment called the double paradiddle. This is very simple because all we're doing is adding an accent and a tap to the single paradiddle, which we already know. You can play double paradiddles with two accents, as I have notated in the book, or with one accent. Or you can play them with no accents. I like the two accent version better because it teaches you how to use the rebound stroke for multiple accents. Let me explain the concept because I think this is very important. Whenever you have multiple accents in a row on one hand, instead of freezing the stick down on both of those accents, we're going to allow the stick to rebound on the first one. So in a double paradiddle, we use two accents. So I'm going to play a rebound on the first, freeze the stick down on the second. We'll look like this. You should practice that with the right hand and the left hand as well, just to get used to playing multiple accents. Then add the tap between those two accents. Notice that I'm very relaxed on both of those accents, and that's the reason why I use a rebound stroke. It makes a lot more sense than to try to freeze a stick down on both accents. This doesn't make any sense because the stick has to come back up. Now to play the double paradiddle after you've worked that up is simple. You just put a paradiddle right at the point where you stopped. So double paradiddle stop. The first exercise at the bottom of page 31 is the right-handed double paradiddle in and on the left. This is what that will look like. One, two, three. The second exercise, same thing, but on the left hand. Two, three. Two, three. So, rebound, down, rebound, down. Once you have that perfected, then just go back and forth between those double paradiddles without stopping. So, very simple rudiment to learn. While we're at it, you can also learn the triple paradiddle because it's using the same technique. Guess what? Instead of two accents, the triple paradiddle uses three. <laughs> okay? Now, with three accents in a row, instead of rebound down, I have rebound, rebound, down. It will look like this. And the same on the left hand. Triple paradiddle. So, double paradiddles with two accents, triple paradiddles with three. So there you go, two new rudiments. Now let's apply the double paradiddle to the rudimental etude at the bottom of page 31. This is very simple to uh, get this one down because there's not a whole lot to it. But I did throw in a trick. Just love to throw in little tricks. If you look at the first measure, notice I have two paradiddles. But the second measure, instead of ending with an accent, it ends with a tap. And you're going to see this quite often. Most students will play pair a diddle, pair a diddle, and without thinking about it, lift up their hand and try to play a soft note from the up position. What you have to do in this rudimental etude is not lift the right hand after the second paradiddle. It should look like this. So I just leave it low and just play the sticking, okay? We're going to play this rudimental etude at 130 beats per minute. I want to make sure that the sound of every one of my flams is consistent. My inner beats are all played at two to three inches, full strokes for my accents. This is rudimental etude at the bottom of page 31. One, two, ready, go. goes by pretty quick. So if you have your double paradiddles mastered, then learning this rudimental A2 will be very simple for you. 
All right, in this lesson we've covered the double bounce, learning how to do double bounce rolls as opposed, as opposed to double stroke rolls. We also learned how quarter note rolls are notated in both quarter time and eighth time. We learned the double paradiddle and the triple paradiddle and applied it to a rudimental etude. If you feel certain that you have all of these things mastered, then you're ready to go on to lesson number 12.